Hello children, I hope you all fine. In this video session, we are going to learn 8th standard English poem, My Hobby, Reading. Hello students, today we are going to see the first poem of this term, My Hobby, Reading. Before going to see the poem, let's see the definition of hobby first. What is hobby? It is an activity that we do regularly for enjoyment in our free time. Hobby is not a job and it is not done for any payment. If a hobby is something useful like gardening, writing, reading, some books, it is very good. So students, now you know what is hobby. Yes, it is an activity that we do regularly for enjoyment in our free time. For example, gardening, writing, reading book, etc. Now let's see the poem lines. This poem was written by Arnachalam Chandrasegaran. He is a professional in library and information science. His long-term deep association with the books in his library has made him to script this poem on reading as a great hobby. Let's read the poem lines. My hobby is reading. It helps me in thought reading. It takes me to places near and far. It keeps my rational dose ajar. It teaches me to cackle and cry. Without wings it lets me fly. I wish if all the children could read in constructing a vigorous society, then we shall succeed. Let's read the poem line by line. My hobby is reading. It helps me in thought reading. So the poet declares that reading is his hobby. So reading was the hobby of the poet. Here the word thought reading means cultivating many thoughts. And the poet says his hobby is reading and it helps him to grow and cultivate many good thoughts. It takes me to places near and far. It keeps my rational dose ajar. Here rational means intelligent, ajar means slightly open or a little. Here the poet says those thoughts taking not only to the nearby places but also to the four areas. The poet compares his mind to room and express that reading habit enables him to keep the doors of his mind and lock and the off doors open. To permit intelligent and logical reasoning, at the same time it prevents the unwanted entry of bad and wrong things. Here the poet compares his mind to a room and reading habit is the doors of his mind. He teaches me to cackle and cry. Without wings it lets me fly. Here cackle means to laugh in a loud. Here the poet says that reading practices the poet to take in both happiness and sorrow in the same spirit. It teaches him to laugh loudly during happy times and to cry and let out sorrow during painful times. Here, reading does not control the thoughts of the poet. Without wings, it allows his thoughts to fly. The poet cannot fly without wings. But his thoughts and imagination can fly everywhere without wings. I wish if all the children could read in constructing a vigorous society, then we shall succeed. Here constructing means create or establish, vigorous means powerful. Here the poet instructs that all the children should go to school and study and they should not be a hill teachers. Hill teacher means having no education and the poet believes that if all the children are well educated 
then they can build a strong and powerful society if such a society is created we shall succeed and reach the most successful places in our lives dear children now we'll see the rhyming words of this poem what is rhyming words already you know that two or more words having same or similar ending sound in a poem is called rhyming words it is usually occur at the end of the line in a poem let's see the rhyming words from the first four lines my hobby is reading it helps me in thought reading it takes me to places here the first line lost word reading and third line lost word breeding have the same sound so reading breeding or the words have same sound so these are the words called rhyming words in this four lines now let's see our next four lines near and far it gives my rational dose a jar it teaches me here first line lost word for and third line lost word ajar have the same sound for ajar so these two words for ajar are the rhyming words from this four lines now let's see another four lines to cackle and cry without wings it lets me fly i wish here the first line lost word cry third line lost word fly have the same sound cry fly so these are the words have same sound so these two words are the rhyming words from this four line let's say lost three line if all the children could read in constructing a vigara society then we shall succeed here the first line lost word read third line lost word succeed or have the same sound so these two words are the rhyming words from the three lines let's see rhyme scheme of this poem what is rhyme scheme a rhyme scheme is a specific pattern used in a poem which determines which lines rhyme in the poem poets write poems with a rhyme scheme or a pattern it is the arrangement of rhymes in a poem or a stanza let's see the rhyme scheme my hobby is reading it helps me in thought reading it takes me to places here the first line lost word and second line third line lost word reading reading have the same sound for that we had give the same alphabet and second line it helps me it takes me to places your me places does not have the same sound so for second line will give different alphabet b and fourth line will give different alphabet c so rhyme scheme for this first four line is that a b a c let's see next four lines rhyme scheme here first line lost word for and third line lost word ajar have the same sound so will give the same alphabet a a let's see the second line lost word rational and fourth line lost word me have different sound so b c so the rhyme scheme of this for four lines a b a c let's see rhyme scheme of another four lines to cackle and cry without wings it lets me fly i wish here cry and fly first line lost word cry third line lost word fly have the same sound so will give the same alphabet a a second line lost word wings fourth line wish have different sound so will give b c so here the rhyme scheme of this four four lines a b a c Let's see rhyme scheme of the lost three lines. If all the children could read in constructing a vigorous society, then we shall succeed. In this first line, lost word read. Third line, lost word read. Succeed have the same sound, so we'll give the same alphabet A A. But in the second line, lost word society have the different sound. so we'll give different alphabet b so rhyme scheme of this three lines is that a b a 
I hope you all understand children. Once again go through this poem and enjoy.